Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Sumi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's video is about general characters of viruses. So, characters of viruses. Viruses are obligate intracellular parasites. They require a living cell or organism for its multiplication. Now, viruses are intracellular parasite. They penetrate inside the cell and there they multiply. It can infect all living forms including plants, animal, bacteria, etc. Viruses can be observed only under electron microscope. Viruses are of very small size and they require a electron microscope for its observation. They are 10 to 100 times smaller than bacteria and its size ranges from 20 to 300 nanometer. So, these viruses can pass easily through bacteriological filters. They are filterable. Now, the, sm the size of viruses is 10 to 100 times smaller than bacteria. So, they can easily pass through bacteriological filters. Size of viruses is measured with the help of ultrafiltration, ultracentrifugation and electron microscopy. So, these are the three methods which are used to measure the size of viruses. Viruses do not have any kind of cellular organization. It contains either DNA or RNA as a nuclear material but not both. Now, some viruses may contain only DNA and some may contain only RNA but both uh, genetic materials are absent in single virus. They may contain any one of them. Further, as we know, viruses are an obligate intracellular parasite and lack the essential enzymes for protein and nucleic acid synthesis. So, the enzymes which are required for protein and nucleic acid synthesis are absent in viruses. And these viruses depend on the host cell for its replication and multiplication. Further, viruses are unaffected by antibiotics. There are many differences between microorganisms and viruses. In spite of that, viruses are considered as microorganism, especially in the field of medical microbiology. Now, when we compare characters of microorganisms and viruses, there is a huge difference between these two. But in spite of that, viruses are considered as microorganisms, especially in the field of medical microbiology. Viruses are of great concern in the field of medical microbiology because they are responsible for various human diseases. Examples of diseases caused by viruses are rabies, AIDS, mumps, hepatitis, influenza, dengue, common cold and many more diseases are caused due to viruses. Viruses are responsible for cancer in human beings, birds and animals. So, these are the diseases there are many more diseases. These are some examples of diseases caused by viruses. Virion is an extracellular infectious particle of the virus. Virion consists essential nucleic acid which is protected by a protein coat called as a capsid. Now, virion, virion is an infectious particle and this infectious particle contains the essential nucleic acid of virus and this nucleic acid is protected by a protein coat which is called as a capsid. The function of capsid is to protect nucleic acid from nucleases and other environmental factors. Now the important function of this capsid is to protect the nucleic acid from nucleases and environmental factors. This capsid is made up of polypeptide molecules. Further, viruses may be enveloped or non-enveloped in nature. The viruses which contain envelope are called as enveloped viruses and the viruses in which envelope is absent are called as non-enveloped viruses. Further, envelope is made up of lipoproteins and this lipoprotein is derived from the host cell membrane. So, envelope is made up of lipoproteins. These lipoproteins are present in the host cell membranes. When the virus comes out or when it causes lysis of the cell, 
it takes some part of that host cell membrane and forms a envelope around itself viruses require a living media like embryonic egg cell culture or bacterial cell now obviously virus is an obligate intracellular parasite it it obviously requires a living cell for its multiplication there are two types of viruses and that are dna viruses and rna viruses these were some important characters of viruses if you liked my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video and don't forget to comment in the comment section